welcome to Church at Home. I'm Christina and I've got a question for you. Which one do you think is the best pet? Cats or dogs? What do you think it is, cats or dogs? I think I'd probably say dogs because this is a picture of my dog. I mean, look at how cute he is. He's so adorable. And it's okay if you disagree with me. Best pets are something that we can disagree on and still be okay. At Connect HQ today, they're having a few disagreements of their own, and we have a point that talks about that. Repeat after me. It's okay to disagree. Just do so respectfully. Nice job. So now let's go to Connect HQ and learn about worship. Believe it or not, I am not the best singer or dancer in the world. Maybe you are, or maybe you're not either. But guess what? We can still worship God with our singing and dancing. Worship isn't about how good we are. It's about how good God is. And I know that God loves it whenever we connect to Him together at church. So sing loud and dance for Him with all you've got. Let's get up on our feet and let's connect with God together.
good guy, you are the savior, and I know that you're always gonna be there. Yeah, you're always gonna be there. think it'll be that fast? I know it. Okay, you ready? Ready. One, two, three. Maurice! Ah! Oh. Uh. Wow, Maurice, I think you're getting faster at that. Yeah? What was my time? Oh, man. I hit the wrong button. Could you do it again? Please? Sure, let's do it. Our Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name's Maurice. And this is the time I learned how to disagree respectfully. So what do you guys think? Those are some great looking tools, Maurice. You should be proud. <clears throat> what am I supposed to say? I don't know a thing about tools. Oh, well, these aren't mine. Remember my sister Clarice? Well, her daughter, Denise, my niece, is joining the Tech and Tools group today. These are for her. Oh yeah, that's right. Are you excited to start working with your niece? Oh, absolutely. She was always small and shy as a kid, but she was always interested in building things and curious as to what tool did what. I think there's a lot that I'm gonna be able to teach her. Uncle Maurice! Denise, hey! I almost didn't recognize you. Wow, you've gotten taller. Yeah, I went through a last minute growth spurt as I was finishing up school, which ended up giving my confidence a big time boost. How are you? I'm great, I'm glad that you're here. Oh, this is Tony and Dot. They work at HQ, too. Hi. So great to meet you both. It is great to meet you, too. Would you like us to give you a tour of the building? Actually, I thought it might be a good idea if we went over the regulations that we're going to be Hey, looks like we've got our first call. Why don't you show me the ropes on the job? Come on, Uncle Maurice. Sure, yeah. Uh, right down this way to the hub. Looks like the console's on the fritz again. Last time this happened, it took me a good six hours before I got it up and running. Okay. So first thing that we should do is we should figure out what's working and what's not. Then we can follow all the wires and... There. What did you do? It was just an unplugged cable. If only all fixes were that easy. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, yeah. Great job, Denise. 
Only um, in the future, maybe let me show you how I do things. I have a lot that I can teach you, you know? For sure. That's why I wanted to work with you. I knew we could learn a lot from each other. Since that call went so quickly, I might take Dot up on that tour, if that's okay. Uh, yeah, sure. It's not exactly what you imagined whenever you thought about working with your niece, huh? No kidding. She handled that call so different than I would have. But it sounded like she still respected you, even though you had a different way of doing things. And that's what's important. It's okay to disagree, just do so respectfully. It's okay to disagree, just do so respectfully. My brothers helped me learn early on that there's always going to be people that we disagree with, and that's okay. What's important is that we show God's love no matter what. You're right. Thanks, Tony. I can go get the paperwork ready. There's so much that I can teach her about paperwork. Sounds, sounds great. And once you have all your receipts, then you can fill out this paperwork. And it's really important that you fill out this paperwork before you fill out all the other paperwork. Does that make sense? Yes, I think I'm following. I understand that it's a lot to figure out, but that's okay. I'll be with you every step of the way. Also, be sure you complete each form in black ink by hand. Why don't you try filling out this form here? Uh, sure, sure thing. How do you think Denise is doing? Well, I think we got off to a rough start, but now that we've spent a little bit more time with each other, I think we're getting to figure things out. I don't think paperwork is gonna come naturally to. Uh, Denise? I thought you were gonna start on the paperwork. Look, all of those forms are available on this app. What? That's so cool! It gets better. The app remembers your information and carries it over from form to form. Uncle Maurice, this app should cut down on the time you spend on paperwork each week by half, at least. Isn't it awesome? Yeah, that's, that's great, Denise. I'll have all this paperwork done in no time. Hey, Maurice. How's Denise doing? I'm not sure. I mean, she's obviously a really smart, really nice kid, but... When her mom and I were kids, we were always trying to boss each other around. You know, she would want to do things her way, I would want to do things my way, and we spent so much time just bickering and arguing, and I feel like I'm doing the same thing with Denise now. Oh. Hm. You know what? I think I have a verse that could help you out. You wanna say it with me? Sure. Okay, so it's from the book of Colossians, chapter four, verse six. It goes like this. Colossians four, six. Colossians four, six. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt. So that you may know how to answer everyone. So that you may know how to answer everyone. It's okay to have disagreements with some people. It could be a family member, it could be a friend, or it could be someone that really, really reminds you of your sister. But we can tell them about our thoughts and our feelings as long as we use words that show kindness, love, respect, and grace. So I can tell Denise I'd like it if we did it my way so long as I use good words. Yeah, exactly. I can do that. You know, I think I'll go walk her through how to make a call to connect customer service. You know how tricky it can be to order parts from them. I've heard a thing or two. All right. Good words. Good words. I can do this. Hey, whenever I get done here, I'll come check on you guys. Oh, that'd be great. I told you to talk to Marsha. They told me Marsha doesn't work today, so I talked to Rachel instead. Rachel! Rachel doesn't have anything to do with the parts department. I figured that out, but I thought she might be able to point me in the right direction. I was pointing you in the right direction. You we're not actually pointing me in the right direction. Hey, hey, oh, 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 um, is this, hi, uh, is this how we want to handle this disagreement? <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't realize anyone else was here. I can go. First days can be rough. I know. 
I just didn't expect the trouble to come from my Uncle Maurice. Feels like he thinks everything I do is wrong. One thing I've learned working here at Connect HQ is that we're all different people and we all have different ways of doing things. And those differences aren't bad, but sometimes we don't always see eye to eye. What do you think I should do? I don't want to have fights all the time. Here's some do's I've figured out from the many times I've disagreed with my brother. Do ask the other person to share their own thoughts and listen respectfully. Do share your own thoughts honestly. Do be ready to learn something new. Do talk to a trusted adult if you ever feel confused or stressed. And do ask God to help you speak loving words and listen with a humble heart. I think it might be a good idea for me to pray right now. That's a great idea. God, thank you so much for the chance to work at Connect HQ with my Uncle Maurice. I pray that you would help us figure out how to show love to each other even if we don't agree. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. How do you feel? A little better? Yes. Thank you so much for all your help, Dot. You're welcome. I messed up, didn't I? A little bit, yeah. I thought that if I just used kind words to explain my side of things, that she'd see that my way was better. But she didn't. And then we started fighting. Well, here's the thing. We don't use kind words and show God's love to get people to come around to our way of thinking. It's not our job to prove someone wrong or to change them, no matter what we disagree about. Even if you know your way is right? No matter what. Even if someone doesn't believe in Jesus, it's our job to love everyone, to pray for them, and to trust that God's working within their hearts. I guess the only time things are different is when the disagreement is causing someone to get hurt. Exactly. In that situation, it's our job to step in, tell them to stop, and if you're a kid, to go get help from a trusted adult immediately. Still, I guess sometimes disagreements just can't be fixed. They just are. And that's okay. Hey, Denise. Hey, Maurice. I think the two of you would have something that you'd like to say? Uh, I mean, it, oh, sorry. No, no, go ahead. Why don't we watch this video from the archives? It might help get things started. This is the story about the God who loves us in the When we follow Jesus, we live the way the Bible says to. That pleases God. But what if other people who are following Jesus and living to please God make different choices? Who's wrong? Who's right? The people in New Testament Bible times wanted to know this too. When the Apostle Paul wrote a letter to the first Christians living in the city of Rome, he told them not to argue with each other about what they thought was right or wrong. For instance, the Roman Christians disagreed about what was right to eat. Some people wanted to follow the Old Testament rules about food to please God. But others believed that as long as you thank God for the food, it shouldn't matter. Paul told them to handle it this way. Don't let it bother you and stop trying to boss people around who don't agree with you. Paul said to let God be the one to speak to others about what pleases him and what doesn't. So, however we live, we should do it to honor God. We belong to Him, and we should try to do things His way, even if that seems different from how other people do. 
Even the people who followed Jesus in the Bible had disagreements sometimes. But from them, we can learn that if we stay respectful and make choices that honor each other, we can disagree in good ways. And always trust that God is working within both of your hearts. Listen, um, I'm sorry, Denise. I'm sorry too, Maurice. I know you have so much knowledge about the work we do here. I should have taken more time to listen to you. And I should have been more open to your new ideas. I think that if we work together, we're gonna make a great team. Hey there, my name is Maurice and I'm a part of Connect HQ. I learned a verse today and I'd really like to share it with you. It goes like this, Colossians 4, 6. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. When you're talking with someone that you disagree with, it's important to make sure that you use words that show kindness, love, respect, and grace. Jesus' followers disagreed sometimes in the Bible, but they figured out that when we stay respectful and make choices that honor each other, we can still love one another. All of us have disagreements sometimes, and that's okay. We just need to remember the do's and don'ts of disagreeing. Do ask the other person to share their thoughts and listen respectfully. Do share your own thoughts honestly. Talk to a trusted adult if you feel confused or stressed. And ask God to help you speak loving words and listen with a humble heart. Don't try to change the other person, call them names, hate them, or forget about them. If you follow those do's and don'ts and trust God to continue working on both of your hearts, then you can keep loving the other person, even if they disagree. Don't forget, it's okay to disagree. Just do so respectfully. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. This is a hammer. I know that one. Pliers. Huh. I always thought they were called rope pliers. Phillips had screwdriver. Philip must have had a really interestingly shaped head. And wrench. Hammer. Pliers. Phillips had screwdriver and wrench. You got it. When we disagree with someone else, it isn't always easy to know how to act or what to do next. But God is always with us and he wants to help us. If you've never made the choice to follow Jesus, make him your leader and your number one friend, you can do that right now. All you have to remember are the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice today? If so, be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust. If you made the choice to follow Jesus today, that is the greatest decision that you could ever make. We want to celebrate with you, so make sure you talk about it with a trusted adult. Hey, we learned a verse today, so let's say it together. Colossians 4, 6. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Respectful and kind words are like something yummy, seasoned with salt. But what is the perfect pizza seasoned with? I've got a challenge for you. Each person in your family has to come up with the perfect toppings to put on the yummiest, tastiest, most delicious pizza ever. Do you think everyone in your family will agree on what's best? Let's find out. Get ready, get set, make your pizza. Hmm, that is gonna be one tasty pizza. So, did your family agree on what the best, most delicious toppings would be? It's okay if you didn't. Sometimes there's not a right or a wrong way to do it, and it's okay to like different things and have different opinions. We can still be respectful even when we disagree. We've got some questions for you and your family to talk about. I will see you later.